Hi guys, it's Greg here. How are you? Hey, I want to take a few minutes on a video here to show you the proper way to use Encompass to order mortgage insurance. In this case, I'm going to start with borrower paid monthly, which is the most common type of mortgage insurance that we order here. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to take a loan here that happens to be a conventional loan with 95 LTV or 5% down. So in order to use the system properly to get your mortgage insurance, I want you to run down to the order mortgage insurance tab in the services uh, area and click on it. What will happen is this will bring you to the list of providers that we use for our mortgage insurance. The key here is that we're using the Encompass system to go out to these providers to get the proper premiums and have them populate within the Encompass loan itself so to ensure that you have the proper premium at all times in your file so you're not under disclosing or over disclosing your MI which some of you have seen can be problematic. So in this case I'm going to go to Radian and I'm going to pick Radian as my mortgage insurance provider and I hit the submit button. And what will happen is Encompass will go out to the Radian website and provide me with an input screen that I can use to input the information and select the types of mortgage insurance that are available through Radian. In this case, I have a 30% coverage uh, mortgage, which what that means is that on a 95% loan to value, the coverage percentage used for mortgage insurance is typically 30% coverage. But what you should do when you are going through your loan application is look at your findings from LP or DU and verify that LP and DU are asking for the same coverage. Sometimes they can ask for lesser coverage, but just validate your coverage percentages when you're ordering your MI. So in this case, again, I have 30% borrower paid, monthly non-refundable. I have an eligible accept mortgage, and it's a retail loan. I'm going to hit rate quote, and what's going to happen is this goes out to the Radian website and pulls in the proper rate quote for a 95 LTV loan with this borrower's credit score. In this case, I have a 7, 740 or higher borrower. So if you just hang in, it'll come, and it'll say, thank you for choosing Radian. New files were downloaded. Rate quote. You hit OK and you'll see a screen and you'll see that there's two premiums here MI first rate at 0.54 and then a second rate of 0.20 and I'll explain that to you a little bit later on so what I want you to do now is hit the import fee button and this will now drag the proper mortgage insurance premium fees back into your loan so I hit OK I close this window and now what I'm going to do, just to make sure everything is in here properly, is I'm going to go to page two of my 1003, where we normally look at MI. I'm going to go up to the Mortgage Insurance Pencil tab. I'm going to click on that tab, and I want you to pay close attention to this area. When you are doing mortgage insurance, regardless of the term of the loan, the down payment of the loan, et cetera, and it's, you're doing a monthly premium, the premium that you and I usually use and use to qualify a borrower is only in effect for the first 10 years of the mortgage. So in this case, I have a 0.54 premium that's going to be in effect on this loan for 120 months. What happens is after 120 months, the, the calculation for the mortgage insurance goes down. And in every case on a borrower monthly mortgage, you're going to find that the premium is at 0.2 for the remaining term of the loan. So in this case, the first 10 years here, I have 0.54. For the next 20 years, it's going to be at uh, 0.20. Now, if this was a 15-year mortgage, you'd have 10 years at the premium, and the next five years would be at 0.20. What I, what I, the reason I'm pointing that out to you is I want you to make sure that you're not putting 360 into this box or you're leaving this box blank because what that will do is it will, will miscalculate your APR and cause you to have redisclosure issues as you're going to the closing table. So pay close attention to the MI box, use Encompass to order your MI to make sure you have accurate information, and you'll find that your APRs and disclosures will come out, come out the best for your client and the most accurate. Thanks a lot.